How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with Death vs. Monsters 2. But, you know how previously I said, um, actually no, you know how previously in every episode I've ever made, I've said, look out for my book. Well, I just so happen to have one of my books here with me. Yeah, last episode, basically, I talked a bit about my poetry book that I've been writing for college. Postmodern Poetry. These are actually poems of my own. I've actually handwritten them. Look at that. Look, and it even says inside, property of James A.D. Charles. That's my, that's my pen name. So, I was thinking a lot last episode. And the thing is, as far as I know, there's only this level left. Yeah, last pathetic group of minions. And then there's the boss. Now, the boss is going to be a struggle, but I'm thinking this bit might not be that hard, and I'm not going to have much to talk about. So I had this crazy idea. What if I complete this level and read you one of my poems? This is obviously going to be something I'm going to instantly regret as soon as I do it. But you know what? I've been saying all along, look out for my book. But I haven't actually, like, mentioned anything. Like, I've given you brief synopsises of failed books. But I haven't actually read you anything that I've actually written. Except that one time I did a writer's workshop and it was a terrible story about a robot fish. But you know what? We ignore that. We ignore that. So, okay. I'm gonna, like, just open the book on, like, a certain poem I had in mind. Then I'm gonna put the poetry book to the side. And I'm gonna try and read from it whilst completing the level. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to, um, beat the level whilst also completing the poem. If not, I don't know... Like, if I complete the level but don't complete the poem, I'll just be like, oh, fine, what can you do? If it's the other way around, then I might just try again. I don't know. Basically, I'm running out of ideas, and I'm just going to have fun with this. So the poem is called Backwards. It's basically like a reverse love story um, about a guy who had this crush at school. And, yeah, he kind of, like, just goes back in time to see him, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and use Sony Vegas to get, like, some uh, lyrics to come up. But, you know, I can only promise so much, I guess. But anyway, here we go. The last pathetic group of minions gather to protect their boss. Clear them out. Oh, I'm going to regret this instantly. Right, here we go. Here we go. I shall go back again. Oh, shit. Turn back the clock. Shit, 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 shit. No. Damn it, I'm not look I need to actually look at it because I only know the first bit. And exit the grave. Okay, shield. Uh, leave my late retirement. But this is actually much harder than I thought it would be. And I've only got 12 waves left to actually speak my poetry. Speak what's on my mind. Wait, I said leave my life. Okay. The other one will come home. I'll go to church and I'll marry. Alright, this is, this is alright so far. And then I'll head straight back into school. I'll do that. Damn it, I can't read the next... It's so hard to read the lines. Uh, go up the old staircase and wait. Is that what it says? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what it says. Damn it, that's so ma- Okay, just quickly read. I'll forget everything else. Close my eyes and miss you. Open them and smile. I'm so close, there's only three lines left. God damn it, why are the pepper pigs coming? Oh, why are the green guys there? Why is it- Okay, that's fine. I'll stop the clock. See you there. Love only. You. Yeah, that's my poem. That's it, that's all of it. I'm surprised I did that, and I'm surprised that was so easy. But then I think I chose a relatively short one. I've got some that go three pages long. But there you go. That's an example of my work. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys actually, like, all subscribe now. And then I'm just like, yes, I need to... I'm not here for the gaming. I'm here for the poetry. And then I'll just create a poetry channel. Oh, no, my mouse. My mouse. No. I mean, I'd love to read another poem, but... Oh, I'm sure you guys wouldn't like to hear another one. Actually, in fairness, a lot of them can be quite depressing. Oh, wait, there's, only, there's... Okay, they're all dead. Easy! I read a poem, and I beat the level. Expert! Expert right here. Okay, I think the enemies have stopped piling up, but we won't worry about that too much. I've got more gems, gold, whatever you want to call it, than I can handle. I could start buying some of this other stuff, which I will, but... Yeah, there's not much use to it. <laughs> I could get a pea shooter. I could change my style, but I'm not going to because I like using the Uber 9000. But anyway, as far as I know, this is the last boss. Can you imagine that? This, this is it. This is going to be the end of the game. Behold, 
the Egg of Doom. Defeat this last boss and be the ultimate champion of the realm. Okay, whilst I'd love to read another poem whilst trying to kill this guy, I'm pretty sure if he's like the end boss, and I've seen how bad this game can get, I'm pretty sure he's going to be pretty hard. And this egg might hatch, and there might be more than one boss. So let's just try and kill the Egg of Doom, shall we? Okay, something about strafing, don't care. Egg! No! Oh, shit. Got my own laser. Uh, I... Am I already dead? Right, okay then. It seems... Uh, I'm not owned. I'm amazing. I don't know why I comment about that now. <laughs> like on the last part of this game. Okay. Laser. Clearly I've got to do this. I'll time this well. So, there we go. Already losing health, but... Oh, don't tell me it's a homing laser. No. Oh! God damn it! It's like one hit wonder here! Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this and read a poem at the same time. Laser one, which isn't so bad. Then I guess I've got to quickly switch. Okay, there we go. It's not hard to miss him though, which is good. I think I've just got to know what is coming next. Oh god, okay. Ah. Ah. So far so good. Ah, oh, kind of good. Shield. Double click. Yeah. Oh. I got hit once. Twice. A million. Fegaline. I thought I dodged that. Alright, but so far this guy seems pretty easy, which is interesting. Um, but I've got a feeling he's got... There's something behind that egg. The egg is going to hatch, I can tell. It's just so obvious. Okay, whoa. Do that there. Laser again. You whore. Damn it! It's fine, I've got patience. This this isn't going to be too hard. I've just got to memorise the pattern. Also, what are those dangly things under it? I'm pretty sure eggs don't normally have that. Are they like eggs of eggs? Fine, whatever. We'll ignore that that exists. No, mouse, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to try and dodge this in slow motion. And then I'm going to try and shield the next bit. Hopefully. Okay, now what's the next bit? Oh, it's that bit. Okay, that's fine. I can handle that, mostly. I must say, mostly I can't handle it. I definitely can't. Oh. Fucking God. You have to be so precise about it. Fine, good, great, don't care. At least this first bit's fine. So that's why I'm not angry. This bit's actually quite nice. No. Nope. No, except I kind of ruined it there. Okay, so... All these suns are going into the enemy. And aren't doing much for some reason. Which I don't get, because they're friggin' suns. Feel the power of Helios! Alright, so then this bit... I'll use this bit. Then... So halfway, that's fine. Maybe I should use the shield more, to be fair. But I'm just shy, I guess. And dying quickly. Fuck. Oh, don't summon stuff. Gotta be careful about this. Why did he have to summon, like, the worst thing as well? I don't like that. Oh, it's glowing. No. Oh, huh. Really? Oh, shit. Die, 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 die. Piece of cake, but I don't think that's the end of it. It's an egg. Eggs hatch. Oh, but is that literally the level done? Oh. Hey, thanks for helping me clean up this mess. We're going on a break now, so that's good news for everyone. You can use my throne if you like, but no funny business. I want it back in my mint condition. I want it back in mint condition or else. Okay, no! Damn it, I stammered on one bit and then... Ah! Oh, is that actually it? Survive as long as possible in this endless mode and rack up. No! Oh god, really? But it's an egg. It's the egg of doom. Isn't there meant to be more to an egg? Like, don't, don't eggs hatch? Or am I thinking of, um, I don't know, seeds? Alright, well, I guess this will be the last time I play it. I mean, to be fair, like I said, there are these challenges, and... 
I get they'd be maybe possibly harder than the Egg of Doom, but I wouldn't really see much point in doing it now I've beaten the game. I mean, sure. Okay, let's do survival mode, and then I'll just summarize what I think of Death vs. Monstars 2. Yep, cool. That's gonna be my last tip, I think. But yeah. Death vs. Monstars 2. To be fair, it is very hard on Congregate, because this is a Congregate game, in my opinion. Or, I mean, it might just be a Congregate game anyway. Um, it's very hard to find a decent game. Uh, one that looks good, one that's challenging, and one that, you know, even when you get upgrades, it's still pretty impossible to beat. But you know what? Death vs. Monsters is one of those games that absolutely have to be in my top five. I mean, up there with that Gladiator game, up there with Bullet Heaven. <sighs> Death vs. Monsters 2, especially 2, because I did play 1, but 1 was... I think it liked a bit graphically, but this this game, everything just feels so good. The the look of the game, the upgrade to get, and it does, it's not a pushover either. Which, okay, debatably, could be annoying, because I really did want the game to be easier at points, but... You know, I think it's good a game can be challenging. And this game, my god, is challenging. But yeah, it's been a good time, Death vs. Monstars. I mean, I only have played it in, like, Let's Play time. I haven't really done it, like, in my spare moment when I have, like, an hour to myself. I don't play Death vs. Monstars. Um, I'm sure some people do. But no, I always wanted to save, like, the experience completely for YouTube. That's why, like, I'm like that. Because it is a really good game, and I can't believe it's free. There's so many games on Congregate. Or, okay... Maybe a select few, but there are a fair amount of games on Congregate that you could sell for, like, even £2, £3. And it would be, like, really, well, successful. Not successful, but, you know, like, it'd get a fair amount in. I could see at least a fair thousand people, like, buying this game if it were a buyable game. And what? It would be, like, would that be, like, £3,000 for the person who did that? You know, if it was one person, I don't know actually, I think it's a fair number of people. Okay, whatever, I am speaking gibberish, but I like this game, it's really good, it's worth speaking gibberish about. Although I have to admit, it's a bit early for hexagons, isn't it? Or whatever those things were. I don't know what game I'm going to play next. Um, again, I do want to get back to like the old games, especially the Congate ones. I'm going to die in a minute, I think. But I just don't know what ones those are yet. I need to get back to Cube Escape, actually. I haven't done a Cube Escape game in ages. I think they just made their last one, but I've forgotten what that's called. But yeah, Congate isn't completely dead to me, even though I've got PlayStation Now now. Huh, that sounds weird saying it like that. Like, because I am prioritizing PlayStation games, because I think... I think it relates more to you guys. I enjoy it myself, and I think there's more variety of games on PlayStation now. I'm not completely giving up Congregate. Even when I go through all the games, I'm sure I'll get back to the old goodies. But yeah, no, there's a lot of fun that can be out of Congregate, and this has to be, what, number three, I guess? Because the Gladiators game definitely comes first, then probably Bullet Heaven, then probably this. In my opinion, in, in my opinion of the polls, that I haven't played every single Congregate game out there. Oh, and that's me, only 100,000 points. So I'd have had like 400,000 to go till I um got the achievement. But yeah. This has been a great game. Um, I don't know who made it, though. I was going to, like, personally congratulate them, but... Does it say in the credits? Their credits version? Oh, yes, there is. Well, it's made by uh, Gamer Reclaim. And music by Stratatales. And there's a thanks for someone called Greensock. We well, you know what? All these people, you've been amazing making this game. It has been a great experience, Death vs. Monsters 2. But alas, it is an experience that I've finished. That's it. There's not much more to do. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Without further ado, look out for my book subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.